Welcome back to Now or Never, Ryan Hollins, Mauricio Pedrosa, and we are super excited to welcome a fantastic actor. You know him for his role in one of the Netflix hit series, One Day at a Time, now a star in the film Breakthrough, produced, by the way, by Steph Curry. Marcel Ruiz, ladies and gentlemen, Marcel. Hola, bienvenido. Oh, how are you? How are Welcome. You are we going to do this, Ryan, in English or in Spanish? Uh, your call. English or Espanol. What do you want? What do you want, Marcel? Whatever you, I'm, I'm good with English. I mean, <laughs> throw, throw some Spanish words in there. Um, is, uh, is the movie in English or Spanish? The movie is in English. All right, so let's, uh, let's the movie's we'll in English. stay English. We'll stay English. <laughs> we'll stay. But one day at a time, it did have some words in Spanish that they would use here mm. and there. Um, and they, you know, at first... When we did the first season, they wanted me to do an accent, like a Cuban accent. Right. But, I mean, I already was Puerto Rican. It's kind of, they saw it as the same thing. Um, so, I didn't really have to do any dialect. But for this movie and Breakthrough, um, the kid is adopted from Guatemala. But he he was raised in St. Louis. So, he doesn't speak any Spanish, but, but he has an accent, like, from the South. So, I had a dialect coach, and I would be, like, a mm. couple hours after finished filming just working on on the accent i feel like this yeah. like this role meant a little more to you i don't know like it feels it like it touched lot. you more it meant a lot i mean it touched it touched me a lot uh, especially in the in the way that it's a real it's a true story um i got to meet uh the real family it's, it's a story about a kid named john smith who fell about four years ago with two other friends in a frozen lake mm -hmm. and he was underwater for 20 minutes and when they took him out he was without this a pulse for over an hour it's a close -knit so just hearing that um in the in the first lines of the script when i first read it um i was like wow this is an amazing movie it has basketball in it it has kids my age it's a lot of things that all in one i wanted to do and then when i found out that it was also based on a true story i was like this is amazing i feel like it being based on a true story much more people are going to be able to relate to it and and really be tough yeah we're watching the trailer and we we, we watched it before uh coming on the air and it's very intense uh it's a very well directed drama great lines great script great actors great cast but tell me about this steph curry is one of the producers yeah. of the film and you said there's basketball involved yeah. did you have to practice specially for the role or are you just naturally gifted for basketball? Like Ryan Hollins, by the way. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> There's a funny story. Um, I did over seven auditions for this role. And, and it was really hard. It was really hard to get it. I, I felt like at first I was struggling not finding the character. Um, and then one day in one of the auditions, uh, the producer, Devon Franklin, tells me that, hey, Steph Curry might might join on mm. this movie and, and work on it. And I was like, wait, don't, don't tell me that because then <laughs> if it doesn't happen. And then when they, um, when they asked me if I play basketball or not, I mean, I told them, of course, I play basketball. And I showed them some videos. And one of the videos that I sent them was me and Ryan playing basketball. Oh, no, come on, man. <laughs> and I feel like that's why they, they picked me for the role. <laughs> I, hey, <laughs> I, I, I am somewhat taken back, and I am somewhat privileged to play a, a role in your career. Well, now thank it's you, a miracle you. that you actually got the role, yes. and you had to practice with Ryan Hollins. I mean, no, that's when he, that's when he went baseline and dumped on me. I'm like, yo, oh, 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 who is this kid? But wait, wait, Ryan, how tall are you? Seven feet. How tall are you? I'm five eight. Yeah, there you go. I mean, yeah, the, yeah. That one on one, it's uh. Must have been something. Oh my something goodness! To, oh my goodness! Yeah. <laughs> All but, right. but but yeah, after they picked me for the role, um, I was re rehearsing with the director, and she tells me like all of a sudden like it's if it's normal, and yeah, and you know Steph Curry now yeah. jumped on the project, and I'm like what? I started screaming, I couldn't keep going with the with the rehearsal, so I couldn't believe it, and oh my god, it's it's crazy because I mean well, it's my well, idol. Well, look here, your boy Steph Curry is here, NBA playoffs. Who do you have winning the championship this year? I mean, it's looking like Warriors again. It's it's looking really close. I mean, Milwaukee's playing good. The Bucks are are playing really good. So I are feel like it's gonna be. Are you pulling for Steph a little more now? Is it different? Oh yes. Him? Oh yes. Oh you. No, have and to. not and I mean, just meeting him, it's a totally different thing. I mean, you see him on TV, but yeah. of course you don't know the person. I mean, meeting him, it it was such a humbling moment because mm. of he. I mean, he's such a great player and one of the best players in the world right now. And just yeah. how he talks and how humble he is. We didn't even talk about the movie. We were just talking about life. He took his time to, to, to thank me for being part of the movie, and I was yeah. like, oh my god. So, so that feeling that that I got when I met him really meant a lot, and I feel like it's gonna be Milwaukee and Steph in the final. So you met him, you took this picture, but then I want to go to the last line 
of your uh, Instagram post. <laughs> Steph, still waiting on our 1v1 though. So you actually challenged yeah. Steph Curry to a one-on-one. I did. Uh, did that happen already? Is it, is it gonna happen it eventually? Happen. No, it didn't happen. I don't think he saw that. Um, I met him twice. Um, I met him there in that picture, um, which was a coincidence. My mom, mm. um, she, she works in these offices that are uh, like door to door with Steph Curry's uh, producing offices. Um, and one day I went to visit, just going to my mom to work. Um, and when the when Steph Curry's partner see me, yeah. they're like, "Oh my God, you're the kid from the, our movie Breakthrough!" <laughs> and I'm like, "Wait, no way!" They started taking pictures of me, and they're like. Dude, Steph Curry is in town this week. He's playing yeah. the Lakers. You got to meet him. And we set it up. I got to meet him. And there, I mean, I was so overwhelmed that I didn't even get to tell him, hey, let's play one, one-on-one. But then I met him another time when he played again the Lakers. We, the whole cast went to see the game. Oh, good. And we got good. to go to the court, <laughs> talk to him. And there, again, I didn't tell him the one we won because I was too scared to. But John Smith, who I portray, mm. um, the real John Smith, who I know very well and we became friends, we did play basketball that's in real nice, life. So nice, that was really fun. Nice. So look, we got to check out your fashion, my man. We oh, see yeah. your swaggers on, on 100, man. So we, got, <laughs> we have some... Oh, check out the hold kicks. On. Can, we, can we pull the check kicks out? The up? Kicks. Can we pull the kicks up? Yeah. Pull them up. Hold on. You got to show. You got to show. I mean, plus we are we're what's, pretty much wearing the scene. What's going on right now, though, Whoa, Marcel? What is what's that? going on right now? You're wearing... <laughs> is that your Russell Westbrook look? What is... What is that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Bro. Okay, so this was... This was the Kids' Choice Awards, right? Mm -hmm. um, and the Kids' Choice Awards, the, the main theme is slime. You know mm, how they're always sliming okay, everyone. Okay, yeah. So um, I didn't know it. I didn't. I didn't think it'd be so obvious that literally when I got there, everyone was wearing like neon green things. Yeah, yeah. And and I got home. I had this vest that's from Tyler the Creator, this rapper that I really like, and his what, brand called Golf. What, what, it, and so I wore it, and it looked word. awesome. What about that one? This was at the jacket. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I can rock the that. Turtle I can rock that. Ryan, the turtleneck. Oh, yeah, that other outfit was like a once in a lifetime thing. But this, yeah, this jacket is like my favorite jacket ever. I mean, I that's like a, like a, my mom lets me buy like, like a jacket like this once a year. Um, I bought it on a trip when we went to Spain. Oh, so what okay. is this? Okay, you're ahead of your time right Hold now. Hold on, Ryan. You're Ryan. ahead, Ryan. Why, why, why are you wearing Marcel Ryan's suit? <laughs> 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 this was for the premiere of Breakthrough, actually. Uh, this was awesome. I, I was so happy to wear that. Uh, my stylist found me this, and this was crazy. And I topped it with these shoes, uh, these off-white Nike shoes that I wanted to wear for a long time, and it matched perfectly with this. Okay, awesome. now, now, this is something with the young people, the Instagram, the, us, the social us, media. The young people. Yeah, okay, yes, us, 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 us. Yeah, because you use Instagram. Okay, I do, I do. I do. I follow you. You got some stuff. <laughs> I want to check out your Instagram though. Okay. No, I, yeah, you did it for I'm the gram. You did a couple things for the gram. Let's check it out, man. Let's see what uh -oh. what, what you got going on. All right. So <laughs> this is. Oh wait. Oh. So this oh. is, this yes. is part of, of the movie, no, this right? This is crazy. What's okay. going on, oh, man? Okay. So th this is like literally the most important scene of the movie. This is where we're filming when I fall in the ice in the frozen lake. And we did three locations on this. When me and the kids were on top of the ice, we actually went to an actual mm. frozen lake. And then this was a five foot tank where we. We'll okay, whoa, whoa, you're, you're stopping like here. Oh, come on, brother. <laughs> come on. Is this your pregame retro or what? This was still doing filming the movie. Um, that is um, a mask that they had to put on me every mm. day because I'm in a coma in the movie and my face swallows after the accident. So that thing took like two hours in the morning and two hours af after we I, finished I thought filming you were a little crazy for a, for a second. I thought you had lost Not, it. It's because it felt like three layers of yeah. skin and it, it, like I would hit myself, it didn't hurt. <laughs> you didn't feel anything. <laughs> so it felt so cool. We have one more. Oh. So yeah, explain, explain <laughs> this to us. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is my friend, her name is Mikaya. Uh, we went to Camp Flogna, which is the best music festival ever. We had a lot of fun. And wait, 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 wait. Oh. Camp Flogna is the best music festival ever? Yeah, yeah. What? I mean, I had like a lot of fun. Wait, <laughs> is that like age appropriate or <laughs> what do you mean? Coachella? Wait, no? It's kind of like Coachella. It's smaller, but... Coachella but, for younger people. Yeah, no. And for Kanye, us, for Kanye, us, <laughs> us, the younger Kanye audience. Kanye performed that year, which was last year. Kanye performed. I think you sang just... a. A little bit of a friend. I think you're you're underselling that a little bit. Just a little I've, bit. I've known her since elementary school, and she moved to Michigan. Oh, okay. And oh, she, 
Oh, okay, okay. okay. She, she, she flew here to LA. Uh, she stayed at my house and we went to California. Someone, someone says oh. she's moving back, but by pro, she is. She is. Well. So oh. we need to, now, can we have the wide shot so we can check out your kicks properly? Because I don't know if the people got to see them. Let's let's show what you're wearing. Let's Look see. at that, man! Oh. These are the Some bling Scott's bling going Force. on. They got they, the details are amazing. They're glow in the dark. Actually. Ryan, join us! Join us! Join oh, us with your <laughs> See? Who did it? Whoa! whoa, whoa. I don't what have that. These are crazy. I, I this don't comes have off? that. Yeah. yeah, everything comes off. <laughs> us, Ryan, the young people. Yeah, yeah. We this, get to wear yeah. this geek. This yeah, that's, we're, we're used to doing that. Uh, <laughs> Breakthrough, it's an amazing movie. Yes, you all is. have to go check yes, it out. Marcel yes. Ruiz, thank you so much for joining thank us. You. Best of luck to you, thank and you so thank you for being here. Keep playing basketball with Ryan. I will. The rematch coming.